We are starting with ventilating the patient with a spritz tube in a supraglottic configuration. Now we are going to intubate the patient. In the previous videos, we described the procedure using a video laryngoscope and a rigid fibroscope. And now we are going to see how the spritz tube performs paired with a flexible fibroscope. Similarly to the rigid fibroscope intubation, we will perform the maneuver without interrupting the ventilation, which will give us all the necessary time to complete the procedure. This implicates as well that the spritz tube can be of great help for training the operators to use the fibroscope, since they can take their time and not worry about the apnea phase. So, take the fibroscope and insert it through the T-mount, like this. You can note that we are still ventilating the patient efficiently. Keep pushing the instrument till you pass the spritz tube's tip. Then visualize the vocal cords. Push the fibroscope through the vocal cords till you reach the carina. Now that the instrument is in place and the patient still ventilated, deflate the proximal cuff completely. Let the spritz tube slide down using the fibroscope as a guide. When the spritz tube is placed inside the trachea, slowly pull out the fibroscope, checking the tube's position. The patient is still ventilated. The fibroscope is removed. Close the T-mount and reinflate the tracheal cuff with the pressure gauge to the volume level suitable for the trachea. So, we've just intubated the patient practically without any apnea phase. At this point, if the case requires it, you can deflate and remove the esophageal cuff in order to free the gastric pathway for a nasogastric tube.